Kevin O'Leary, the entrepreneur and TV personality, is a big fan of automation. He sees it as the key to boosting productivity and efficiency. And you know what? He's not alone. Many business leaders and politicians echo his sentiments. They paint a rosy picture of a future where machines do all the work. It sounds great, right? Well, not so fast. There's something crucial missing from this narrative, the human cost. We can't just ignore the millions of workers who stand to lose their livelihoods. These are real people with families to support and dreams to chase. Port Automation is a prime example of this complex issue. Sure, it might make the shipping process faster and cheaper, but what about the longshoremen who rely on those jobs? Their stories matter. Let's be clear. Automation does offer some benefits. It can streamline operations, increase output, and even lead to higher wages for the remaining workforce. Companies investing in automation often highlight these advantages. They talk about staying competitive in a globalized market. They argue that automation is essential for economic growth, and they're not entirely wrong. However, these arguments often overlook the long-term consequences. What happens when a significant portion of the population is displaced by machines? Where do they find new jobs when their skills become obsolete? The truth is the transition to an automated future is unlikely to be smooth. It could exacerbate income inequality and create social unrest. The middle class, the backbone of any strong economy, is particularly vulnerable to automation. These are the folks who work in manufacturing, transportation, and other sectors ripe for disruption. They are the ones who buy homes, cars, and appliances. They are the engine that drives consumer spending, which is essential for economic growth. When automation eliminates their jobs, it doesn't just hurt them, it hurts all of us. Reduced consumer spending leads to a weaker economy, impacting businesses of all sizes. This in turn can lead to further job losses, creating a vicious cycle. We can't afford to ignore the plight of the middle class. Their well-being is inextricably linked to the health of our entire economy. We need to have a serious conversation about the future of work in an age of automation. It's time to challenge the narrative that efficiency and profit are the only metrics that matter. We need to find a balance between technological advancement and social responsibility. This means investing in education and retraining programs to help displaced workers adapt to new roles. It means exploring policies like a guaranteed basic income to provide a safety net for those left behind. And it means demanding that companies prioritize the well-being of their employees, not just their bottom line. Innovation should benefit everyone, not just a select few. Let's work towards a future where technology empowers us, not displaces us. The real cost of automation is not just measured in dollars and cents, but in the livelihoods and well-being of millions of people. Let's not forget that.